sure my hair is okay. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back. Ruben, Texas, all water fishing. And as you can see, it is a extremely foggy. Sorry, I think I see a sheep head over there. But it is a extremely foggy today. And water level is very low, like it is a lot of time. There, like it is a lot during this time of the year. But just want to say thank you for coming back. I'm going to have a short day on the water. So hopefully I'll be able to find the fish pretty quick. Because like I said, it's a real short day, real short trip. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Really appreciate it. And uh, wish me luck. Hopefully I get on the fish. Well, I haven't seen too much activity. I just saw a little blow up over here. But it was small. Seen a very little bait, but it's real hard to see right now because you do have this this fog and this overcast. So I started out fishing with a couple of darker lures with chartreuse tail. Water visibility is pretty good. It's about maybe about two feet from what I can see, and the water temp is about 60 degrees. One of the reasons why I came out here. To fish is because the water level has been so low so I'm gonna try to fish around some of these neighborhoods and some of these deeper cuts you know I don't fish West Bay I haven't fished West Bay in a while but I did go out the other day with my buddy Cody Dunn and Billy Ray Wagner of Saltwater Soul. We are, we're like brothers, so it's been a while since we fished together, so it was just fun for us to get on the water and spend a few hours right at the end of the day, right before the sunset, we were able to get out, and uh, well, here's, here's a nice catch that Cody hooked up to on a DSL. Since I'm not fishing, since I'm fishing and I'm not really catching anything, why don't you enjoy this clip? What you got there, Cody? Uh, a big ugly? I think it's a big ugly. It's just ugly. <laughs> he, he's just going, huh? Yeah, I'm like the third. What are you one. fishing with? What is that reel? Uh, it's fish sticks and the reel is uh, fish wheelers. Uh, I don't know. That's that, that purple one, right? That purple lightweight if one. If anybody can get a bit ugly, it's got to be Kevin Cody, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, on a DSL, right? Going farther. DSL? Yeah, on, yeah, on, on a, Good, because we need On the to wide eyes. Hey, we need yeah. Yeah, there he goes again. Taking off again, huh? <laughs> he just yeah, don't want to come. <laughs> That's a pretty real. Thank you. Yeah, your guy Bill Wagner like out here three uh, putting, putting people on big uglies. I told him. That's the reason why I brought you. And I had a big. I wanted, I wanted a big ugly today. Be ready. Yeah, says, I know just the play spot. Is, Yeah, this is the big ugly spot uh, right here. Oh, <laughs> he's that massive. Is he is massive. Look at that. Oh, look at that big guy. Having fun yet? Yeah. You were putting that fish stick to egg. Yeah. That fish, fish stick sticks. is getting to the, I mean, <laughs> that's you're putting a, it to a the, medium light, too, man. You're putting it's, the fish stick here. Go ahead. <laughs> medium light rod? Oh, Hunter. Hunter, look Thank at that rod right there, yeah, little look bro. Look at that rod. Woo, ain't that pretty? Look at that. It's got some backbone. That's a nice bow in that rod. You can't catch a 10 pound trout with this. Something wrong with you. Cool. <laughs> yeah, there he is. That there he is. Yeah. Oh yeah, easy. I think. And there he goes. He got some Ooh, that's a pretty guy. There you go. There you go. It's so freaking easy. Pull straight up on that. Don't fall in. That takes two people pulling. No. <laughs> My gosh! The ribbon you made up for the last one, maybe. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. That's a big drum. Oh, that's a big drum. <laughs> we go hard, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to book a trip with Cody? Uh, you want to catch his little perch? Oh my goodness, Cody. Look at this. DSL. There you go. 
They think we're offshore. <laughs> Cody. Can you see the saltwater still over there? Look at like me, Cody. Ro rolling forward. Came across, did a drift, a couple drifts on the in these flats, and no doing. Nobody home, no takes. Saw a few boils, scared a couple fish, but that was the extent of it. Seen what may have been a couple specks jump, chasing bait, but cast on them, cast on them, cast on them, and never got a hit. So it is what it is, you know, just one of those days. I just have to grind out a catch or two, and if I'm not able to catch anything, well, that's uh, got some exercise and came out and had a good time. Got somebody. Finally. <clears throat> uh, little guy. Little guy. Uh. Yeah. Just a little guy. Got him on that bite and fight angler lure. Look, I probably my about maybe about 14, maybe 13 inches. Small guy. Came right out. Let him go. Kind of what we came in here for. We'll show a spec. So it was nice to, nice to hook up. Came all the way over here from where we launched. Well, not too far. About a couple miles maybe. But what I was hoping for, come over here, hook into a spec. That was first fish in kayak 2021. So that is awesome. It's good when a plan comes together, although all my other plans fell apart. Let's see if we get another one. I'm doing what's drift, what is called drift fishing. Have the wind to this side and I'm casting to the side ahead of me. So this is a very good technique. I like to use it a lot, especially in West Bay. And the bay is so open and so flat. I'll use this technique technique to drift. Oh, another one. I use this technique to drift over oyster reefs and to drift over like uh, boat cuts and channels you know little little drop-offs but primarily oysters but today i'm just drifting over just this little lake back here by the subdivision just doing a drift probably do a couple of these and then start heading back and another thing that i do while i am drifting so kind of like that area right there you can mark it on your phone or mark it on your fish finder where you can come back and after you do a drift you come back get your same line and then drift it again but i'm not too worried about it i pretty much know the line i'm gonna come back so i'll come back and hit the same line again that way i can hit that spot because it was two quick hits relatively close to each other now if we were there we go there we go the nice spec ah oh. Nice little speckler on the drift. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be a little guy, undersized, but still fun. Bite and fight angler. Oh, golly, you got me with your tooth. Look at that, look a little scuff on him already. Look, he already had a bad day. He had a bad moment. Little schoolie. I am not complaining. It has been a grind today, so. Nice to grab some fish. Feel the tug. I love feeling the tug. It doesn't matter to me. Obviously, I want to catch big fish, but it doesn't matter to me as long as I'm catching. There we go. Little guy. Ah, there he goes. Little guy, little guy, little, little, little guy. Ah, he's my little guy, though. Uh oh. He came off. Let's get you out here, buddy. Uh, little fish. Little slime. So that is a wrap. I am going over the causeway now, heading back to the mainland. And he 
you know, it is always bittersweet to be driving over this bridge because I just had a chance to fish or visit some of my friends or just visit beautiful Galveston. And going back to the mainland means I'm going back home. So like I said, it is bittersweet. I love the island. I love all my fellow Galvestonians, although I'm not from Galveston. I still claim it as mine. Anywhere I lay my head is where I call home, right? So, or put my kayak in the water. So anyway, hitting home, you know, you saw today wasn't wasn't quite what I would call a great fishing experience. I mean, it just wasn't. It was a grind. I couldn't find the fish. I knew where there might be some small specks. So I went over there, a little bit of deeper water, and I found those guys. But I did do a lot of talking, and I talked about... A lot of a lot of different things, a lot of a lot of winter fishing. Some of the stuff, some of the lures I was working and how I was working them. And if you're interested in seeing any of those outtakes, any of those clips, then head over to bfavipclub.com and just put that in your browser there, and it'll take you straight there and join today because. I'm telling you, I'm going to be adding clips. Uh, I know the other guys will be adding clips. I'll be adding this fishing report. As soon as I get home, I'll post this fishing report about fishing Galveston West Bay and what it was looking like. Obviously, it wasn't that great. So, kind of warning people, if you are fishing Galveston West Bay, you might want to go somewhere else. Or just expect to be a grind. Or maybe pick up some live bait. But anyway, hey... But check them out. Uh, check us out at bfavipclub.com. We also, I've also posted a one-on-one -on -one drawing giveaway. If you would, or something like that. It's a one-on-one -on -one drawing. It's a one-on-one -on -one fishing drawing. So if you want to fish for me one-on-one, -on -one, well, get over there, sign up for the membership, drop a name on that video blog. And just drop a comment on that video blog. Just leave your name and say, "Hey, Ruben, include me in the in the drawing in the raffle." So, I'll put a list. Uh, I'll put everybody's name in the hat and pull a name, and we'll go fishing. Hopefully, by the end of the month. So, there's a few weeks left in the month. So, we'll see. But thank you, thank you for coming back. I do apologize. I would have loved to have put more fish on, but if they're not buying in, they're not there, or I simply can't hook up. There's nothing I can do about that. But. I thank you for coming along if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I know it's going to be a little challenging to push a thumbs up on this video, but you know what? I gave it a shot, right? That's the best we can do. But thanks and hopefully next time you catch me.